Hey folks, welcome back. Well, we got a speedometer not working in this uh, Ford F-250. I think this is a 2000. Um, it also has an ABS light on, could be related. So I'll just uh, bring you along with the uh, troubleshooting and we'll uh, see what's going on with this. Okay, so first thing we're doing is gonna go in here. We've got the scanner hooked up, so we're gonna go into the ABS module here and um, look at codes. And there we got our codes right there. The rear wheel speed sensor. Okay, so I just went ahead and just uh, cleared that fault out of here. And we're going to go in here to read data stream. They don't give you a whole lot, but they do give you a rear differential wheel speed uh, head to watch. So we'll take this thing for a little scoot around the block and see what uh, happens. Hey, the ABS light remains on. The so first thing we're going to do there we go. Because we're doing almost two miles an hour just at rest here. Back into read fault code. So that's the same fault code we had there. That's the uh, circuit. So could be a bad sensor. It could be wiring. All right, you can see the speedometer is not working. I'm probably doing close to 20, and that's not changing at all. They sold me if you go a little bit faster that it uh, starts to work. So we're going to see if I can um, get here and get a, up a little bit. There it kind of came up. Reading pretty, pretty consistent to what the scanner says to what the speedometer says. I'm gonna slow down, and then it just cut right back out again. So, most likely we pinpointed what we've got going on is is we don't have any good reading from that sensor. Now that doesn't mean it's a bad sensor. Most likely is, but it's more likely that we got uh you know bad sensor but we just we know what uh we should be reading you know if it was the transmission speed sensor which i think is another it's another sensor on the transmission but i don't think it's what actually makes this work so i'm not not 100 percent sure but we're pretty sure we're on the right track of we need to just fix this abs problem first um because we know it's a problem and then it'll most likely fix the speedometer so. and you can see our second fault code came up um, rear weeds wheel speed sensor inconsistent so that's when you get up about 25 miles an hour it seemed to do that so anyways let's get this up in the air and have a look see at the at the sensor and do some tests all right underneath the here speed sensor lives right here and so the well, first thing we're going to do is kind of clean that off a little bit get that thing unplugged and we're going to do an ohm test on it see what see what we come up with there i'll show you what the new one looks what a, what a new one looks like got one just I'm pretty sure that we're going to need it but all right so that's what the new one looks like so what we're going to do is we're just going to clean it off the outside you know it's got a bolt that uh <clears throat> holds it in here i did kind of notice it was a little bit loose uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to find there, but the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to unplug it. There's two terminals in there, and I'm just going to go and with an ohm meter and just touch one end on one and the other lead on the other end. This one here, I got uh, 1.8 uh, K ohms, which is 1,000 
uh, 800 and well actually it was 803 ohms so it's 1803 ohms on this one so what we're going to go do is, is go do that check on the um, one the existing one there just in place and see just what it reads and we'll start there all right there it is unplugged it's kind of got these these uh i can't really point at it but one side's broken off as far as those little clip ears or whatever you can see it on the right side there it's got one um I went in there, got to the terminals, put it on there. It <clears throat> didn't show that, but the meter's reading what it, exactly what it's reading right now, uh, which <clears throat> OL is with the, without the leader neat, touching, it's open. So we're gonna get that sensor pulled out. We've got that bolt right there, looks like a 10 millimeter. We'll get that all pulled out of there. But I'm going to spray some more cleaner and all that kind of stuff around on this before I pull that out of there so none of that falls in. Don't want to be introducing more bad stuff in there. There we go. Now you can see it a lot better. Um, it's a lot easier and better to do the cleaning and everything with uh, with the old one in there. So we'll get this thing pulled out, get that bolt out of there and show you how to get that thing out. Shouldn't, sometimes they might be stuck in there. Now you can see this plug a little bit better. The one ears broke off, but should be okay. If not, you can probably find a replacement somewhere. Um, yeah, sometimes they're, they're kind of stuck in there, but most of the time it's not too bad. Well, I had to have two hands, but essentially, if you just move this thing back and forth, you know, grab a hold of it here. Sometimes you might have to use a pair of pliers or something and move, work it back and forth, and then just like this, and then it, it'll eventually just come out. Usually, it's what's stuck on is that O-ring, but. And yeah, it's gonna have stuff like this. That's pretty normal, but that sensor is, uh, like I said, open, so it ain't no good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kinda clean off that surface a little bit, get all that kinda rust off there so it sits down flat, smooth, and everything. And then we'll stick that new one back down in there. Okay, so when you are ready to put the new one in there, put a little something to lubricate that uh, O-ring right there. And um, that way you don't wreck it. And you just position it in. Give it a couple of turns. Kind of just work it in there. You don't really want to um, force it down with the bolt because you can break that deal. You want to get it in without doing that. I'm going to have to use two hands. I kind of just kind of just had to rock it a little bit with uh, both hands, but you want it flush. And then, uh, then go ahead and uh, get your bolt started in there. But you don't want to, you know, you want to make sure that thing's flush on there because you start running it down with the bolt and get it crooked, um, you could break it. So get it, get it snapped down in there. That's flush. That's how it's supposed to be. And then uh, get your bolt tightened in there and plug your plug back in. Okay. So what we're gonna do is. Um, Got the scanner hooked up. We're back into the ABS module. I noticed the ABS light's not on now. I think it comes on when you turn the key into the start position. Um, I don't know. There it comes on. It goes off. So before it always is staying on, so there's something different right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and clear the fault memory. And here, read fault codes. Okay, so right now we're not seeing anything. That one kept coming back. So then we'll go in here and go to read data stream. Now we're still reading the 1.98, but that should change as we go out and uh, drive this thing. So let's go ahead and... Um Okay, got this thing backed out. Now we're just gonna slow roll this thing. 2.98, starting to come up. About eight, 7.9.
sorry for the bouncing around. I was trying to get good shots of this, but um, you know, I see at rest here, you know, it's not reading exactly right, but that could be the fact that, it, you know, it says one point, almost two miles an hour just at rest here. I'm not sure if, uh, you know, I know that some tuners and stuff can calibrate these things and I would think this scanner could, but I just don't know how. I might try to look into it. I did get in here, um, but it's not letting me connect to any of these deals. This was just in the, um, special functions programmable um, parameters but um, yeah I don't go in here like this and it says uh, this but if I choose any of these things set ignition switch to on which it is I get this right here so it won't connect to it I don't know Well, that one's all done. Um, no faults came back. Uh, according to the speedometer and the and what your what GPS speed would be, uh, speedometer only reads one mile an hour faster than the Google Maps deal on my phone. Uh, so you know that should be all right. Anyways, uh, hopefully that helps you out if you got the, some of the same issues going on. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.